you can't put everything on the back of the Earthshaker and you can't allow a Faceless Void or a, a, a Lena to be able to do it. I like this. You know, this is this is what they needed. A full wraparound coming from the Jakiro here. What a scary position for them. And he's going to be able to bounce them back into the Phantoms. Great positioning out of the Spirit Breaker charge. I mean, Q's going to come down, down, but what can he really do with this rotation? Maybe Celery is in some trouble. Nah, no damage. No mana on Ollie. There's no chance. Yeah. Should be able to go through the portal. There they want. They're going to go for kills instead. Why not? They see some freebies and they'll be rewarded. A great rotation through the portal from Celery. You deal with the ward, you stick around, get a couple of big kills. But back with the haste route, so he gets the hell out of there. He's gone for the phase boots route, so this is much more of like less of a farming build, more of a kill build. That's fancy placements. Solar Guardian's gonna be in the fish. It's a little bit awkward though. Jabs is on the other side, but Makoto will struggle to follow up. Dude, everyone from Gladiators recognize the importance of this fight. Duracho is ready with a Krona, but the instant Delta split away from Talon, he'll still get an opportunity to use it onto oh, the offlaner. But now 23 Savage, he's ready to go for the 10v10. They should be able to deal with Tofu. Gonna to be cautious. Q's gonna be able to buy him some time. Attribute shift at the ready, so Savage will not be blown up. Ace is so farmed and potentially going to be uh, rewarded with another kill. Savage blown up from four to zero. Mid lane now, though. Are they not even going to have the damage? You serious? Ace everywhere across the map with the early Spirit Breaker involvement. Oli will get Easy. the kill onto <laughs> Salary, but he's going to step too far. And they're going to be able to get the kill onto the Dawnbreaker. They might even get oh, Earthshaker as well. Once again, Tofu spellcasting. Uh, the Midas, the Faceless Void, gets to start building into his farm. And I've seen that's exactly Dude, where Quinn. the charges are coming mid once again. What is that double LSA? And now they're going to get Makoto as well. Yep. And it's just, it's the same recipe always. Gladiators, so much emphasis on securing power and telling them they bring two. And they're going to be punished for that. If you're going to go for these runes, you need to bring more members. The Dawnbreaker is able to make a lot of these kills happen. Well, they will wake the attempt. And are replicating gaming gladiators play. If they're not quick, though, Dyer's going to smoke and go through the portal. Yeah. It has to be perfect because Duracho has the boys shortly. And if they group off for the chrono, He's got this the could be ground. devastating. Jabs, he's just going to run up and meet them all. And you can't take a fight here with the calling. It's going to be disastrous. They'll still try, though. Tofu's falling low. All the AoE control proving to be an issue. Jabs oh. tries to get the ultimate off, but just to no avail. And they just are all mincemeat running into the grinder as now gaming gladiators. They'll find Ollie as well in no man's land. Savage considers about showing up, but he is far too late. How could you be allowed to, go to one shot tofu? free rooms at level nine, man? <laughs> it's just not right. I mean, they've got, they've got the stuff to be able to make a counter initiation happen. Duraccio is not too far away. Instant teepees. Get one. Oh, Quinn, that long range stun. Can he blow up Savage? Duraccio is still hungry for it, but it doesn't look like they'll be able to convert. So waste some teepees. And of course, we know that you know, as soon as I saw that Dawnbreaker picked up, I was considering maybe they go for the Silencer, but there's nothing really that's going to disrupt this uh, Solar Guardian coming in. Jabs is the one that's had the biggest benefit of a lot of these aggressive plays. Quinn, Double stun. a bit blocked from the Fissure. This could be a pretty good opportunity. Oh, oh the Echo just Slam, though, just too late. Quinn slides out of trouble. The wards from Talon was a big opportunity. Get a kill onto the Lena, nonetheless. The smoke. Yep, they were indeed. So everything is at the ready from Dyer. Tofu and Ace gonna lead the charge. Oli once, Oli again. once again. Be able to pop this. Q will give him some separation. Should still be able to get the kill. Makoto with the counter over the well. echo. It's a pretty good combo. Can they blow up Quinn? And they will. That is a great start. Duracho. Can he find the angle for the corner sphere though? Over the right side, the waveform. Savage toying with gaming gladiators. And now the fish on to two. The perfect start is Makoto's gonna jump over the top of the chain control. Duracho protected for the moment for the BKB, but they can continue to chase him down. AC is gonna charge through from downtown. You might need the Corona protecting Duraccio. In fact, it won't be required, but Ace in some He's danger. Like in still. fact, it's you actually Celery it. that is the one in trouble and talent somehow, some way. Could Makoto lead the charge as well? Look at the calling. Tofu in a close area. Could be devastating. They're going to be able to get the jump in. Roshi's down. Makoto gets Makoto the ages. It. It's a great start for Talon. Duraccio used an early BKB as well. 
Talon kiting over to the right side. Okay, momentarily. We need to see what Duracho can do with his ulti. Savage, he's going to charge over the middle side. Duracho doesn't even get to play this team fight. As Talon now can potentially get some more kills, but Kodo stops the charge. Ace, 4,200 health. But when he has no heroes to play around him, it doesn't matter how long it takes to kill him off. As Talon... Somehow they've got the net worth lead. They were down 7,000. He's a little safe here, Duracho, on the right hand side. Kodo careful not to pop his smoke on the towers. And ooh, how quick is he on the fingers? Yeah. He's still pretty satisfied with that, though. They're really Kodo. split. They're going for their own kill. Jabs is isolated. Gonna be able to blink closer back to the T2 tower. Meanwhile, I mean, there's a straight chrono as well, so everyone else is stuck from being able to join, and Duracho just gets the time walk away. Savage wants to Savage. jump on forward, though, but the BKB stops the, the dead shot. Has he got the damage? He does. Waveform to he confirm wants the kill, and Savage is not done just yet. Your high ground will not stop me. The Savage finds a double further to the south. Ice. Ace is isolated. We saw Pryor when he doesn't have any boys to play with. He can be vulnerable. Quinn's going to TP him. Has to jump over the right side as the Acro Slam Ace. He'll find an opportunity to charge away, Quinn. but Quinn, he doesn't have the same capability. Tries to fly up to the oh, high ground, but he's going to gonna be cut down. Just what is going on? Gleaming Gladiators, they are crumbling. Ace has the Shadow Blade completed, so it's another thing that's just going to enable to... They see Tofu. Yeah, he shows himself, yep. Simultaneous oh, jumps good. to the right and left. Both supports blown up from four to zero. Ooh. They're not messing around, Talon. They're looking for more as well. Right under the cover of the Shadow Blade. Ace is going to charge into the middle as well. Got you still have the Chronosphere. Savage with the Replicant's going to be able to prevent Duracho. They, they split away. Duracho doesn't have a good opportunity for his ultimate. will finally use it, but it's a wasted Chrono. He'll get no value out of it. And now Makoto can hunt. Tofu stuck in no man's land. As Talon just have their number. Gladiators cannot take these fights anymore. 3v5s, you've got the buyback out of Quinn. Ace might get blown up with the crit, so they've got to be cautious. A lot of damage onto the Morphling. Savage is in some danger. Finds the waveform out of the base, and what's the call from Talon? Gets to the neutral camp, I guess. And this is going to give Talon now an opportunity to set up they see around this top Hillary. side. Instant jump. Chrono still cool down for another five seconds. Tofu gets blown up without remorse. Duracho is going to try and put a little bit of damage into Makoto. Charge from the other side oh, of the map as well. Ace going to try and deal with Oli. Once again, 23 Savage looking to try and play around with the Spirit Breaker Replicate. Ace is in some danger with the Purge. Great reaction out of the BKP from the Morphling. And again, Duracho again. will have zero damage inside the bubble. It is an all-out retreat. They've got to cut their losses. Quinn will juke up to the north. TP still down for a couple of seconds. As well. He's got the Aghanim Shard as well, so I was talking about that threat of being a legitimate right-clicker. Well, Makoto's reached that point. Smoke on Smoke. Moon as well. Doesn't want to let them get away, particularly Quinn. He's been pretty sneaky with that point. Savage, Savage. I see how true shift to be able to work with. Not going to be able to blow him up from 40 zeros. Ace spies the Shadow Demon, but doesn't commit with the charge. Got to be cautious. They group up instantly to split away once again. Duracho doesn't find an opportunity for the corner, but everyone is isolated. Makoto's away from the boys. They're going to need to find some way to protect him in the corner. This time, we'll clip through heroes, and that gives him the opportunity to kill off Jabs as well. Savage against the world. Can he do it for the instant buybacks? Solid Guardian back into the middle of Savage, of course. He has that set. So much. Down to the southern side though, Ace gets some time to charge away, live? but the Fissure stops him from escaping. The Rancho gets blown up as well. And now Quinn, looking like it might be a dieback, finds the blink at the last second. Gaming Gladiator is not done. A salary will also be killed off inside. The river is up the high ground. Savage goes. He knows that there's no backdoor protection. He knows that you're going to need to use a buyback for this. Otherwise, you're losing your entire base. But with no Chronosphere to be able to play around, can they 100 to 0 him? I don't think you can. 3,500 health. And you got the, the Wind Waker out of Q. And now Quinn as well. Jumped on He's the backline from Makoto. Tossed into the double fissure. Quinn's, Quinn's down dead. for over two minutes. And now the building's under siege. No chrono for the defense. 
They can go for the end if they want. Talon knocking one of the favorites down to start in the lower bracket. More buybacks being used. They don't want to give this one up without a fight. This is starting in that lower bracket. A single series enough to be able to wipe you out. They would love to be able to pick up here. Doraccio, Savage, refresher used for the double waveform. That they still can't is get all in. she wrote. Talon and Savage take a freaking bow. What? A comeback performance from the Southeast Asian boys. They are never out of any game. And they are in to the upper bracket as well. Can the real 23 Savage please stand up? Because he was the reason that Tal were able to get back into this game and then get across the line. What a way to be able to finish off this last day of day one of the playoffs. What a performance. And I want to see the reactions out of Talon. Let's throw it over to Sax to see how they are. Hello, guys. Let's take a peek. They've locked the door. I'm knocking on the door. The door is locked. Hello. Oh, no. Oh. Hello. How are they feeling? Oh, guys, congratulations. You did it. Woo. Pretty good stuff there. Oh, okay. They are very, very serious right now. Trying to be calm. All right. But uh, we're going to go do something very, very quick. Okay. All right. Guys, I'm sorry to interrupt. A hu huge moment there. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Well done. Are you feeling good? Are you feeling high energy? All right, all right. Very good. Any words out there? I mean, what a series game two. That was crazy, man. Yeah. It's, it's a good game. Yeah, absolutely. Were you scared? Jabs, the man, the myth, the legend, the bristle bag? Yeah, yeah. You feeling it? It was pretty fun. Like, at that point, uh, the last fight, and Mikoto was ratting, and we don't even know what we are doing anymore. It's just like... Everything is silence. Yeah. It's oh. just like, we're just playing. I w would have to say, guys, that was like the game of the tournament for me. Uh, very exciting stuff. So thank you guys so much for an incredible show out there. And uh, yeah, I was hype as hell. You guys are so calm and collected. What's going on, man? It's just another day in the office for you? You're in the zone. You're in the zone. Well, get out of the zone, boys. You just kicked some ass. Well done. Well done. Everyone shut off your computers. What is it? You guys are done. The computers are off. They're, you guys are just done. Shoes are off here, too. Can, well done there. All right. Well, I'll let you guys rest. Great job. Congratulations, guys. Go get some food. You earned it. Well done. Enjoy the upper bracket. That's it for us. Over with Talon. Thank you. Back to you. Maybach.